Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations VW Technologies Quattro Bump Test Guide. Uh, today we're going to be bump testing the VW Technologies Quattro. So you can see I've already started the monitor off in normal reading mode. You can see it right there. Uh, a few things to notice, we've got all of our values are zero, except for the oxygen, which is 20.9. In addition, we've got our calibration gas cylinder here. It has 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LEL methane, and 18% oxygen. Now you don't have to use this blend. You can use just about any calibration gas blend out there because we're not going to be doing a quantitative bump. We're going to be doing a qualitative. So quantity means count where you make sure it looks exactly like this. Qualitative is just we're just going to be making sure that the sensors work and that all of the alarms are going off properly. So first thing we want to do, take a regulator. This is very, very, very important. We're going to open the valve on it. And the reason for that is when we screw it into the cylinder, we don't want this air in here to get trapped in the cylinder because it has moisture in it, and moisture is bad for the stability of hydrogen sulfide. So we want to make sure we keep that H2S proper. So we put on the calibration adapter right here. Let me see what this looks like. There. Make sure our valve's open. Grab our cylinder. I'm going to screw this in here. Now, what will happen is we're going to hear it start hissing gas. When it does, we're going to close the valve like so. Okay, and continue screwing the cylinder in afterwards. Perfect. Put this back down here. Okay, so now we've got our quattro. We don't need to hit any buttons or anything along those lines. Uh, it just This type of bump test is just a functional bump test for making sure that everything works on it. Go ahead and screw the calibration adapter into your monitor here. Okay, now it's going to get loud in just about a second, so I'm going to let you know what we're looking for first and foremost. What we're making sure is that all of our sensors are going to be going upwards in value, and that we are going to be uh, making sure that the horns go is uh, audible, that the lights are flashing, that we can see those going off, and that also the monitor is vibrating properly. Okay, so here we go. And turn the gas on, and this is going to be a very quick procedure, you'll see. Got our gas on. Okay, we can see the values are traveling upward, especially the LEL sensor, because that's the most easily poisoned. You can see the strobes are flashing right here. You can't feel it, but the vibrating alarm is going off, and I'm sure you can hear it. That's the audible alarm. So we're all good. Cut the gas. Now take off your calibration adapter. Okay. Put my thumb over that so we can save our ears for a little while. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to find a... Let's silence that for a moment. Come on. There we go. Now, the next thing to do that's very important, we want to make sure that we record that we've done this because that way if anyone inspects or anything along those lines, you've got a record. So you want to grab a piece of paper. Uh, we have a spreadsheet available online that you can download. It's going to be in the description. And all it says is today's date, your initials, that the audible alarm passed, that the strobes passed, that the horn passed, and that the sensors were moving. And that's it. And then, then you're all said and done. Just make sure that you record that and you're good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here. Number is 734-956-0539. Or you can email us to support at idealcalibrations.com. Thank you much. Hope you have a great day and stay safe out there.